time for the Big Dog AC Show. Big Dog AC Show, here we are. We are back. We're ready to go. we got a great show this weekend. We've been planning this for a week or so. We have a, a special guest in the special studio guest. with us. Mm-hmm. We are also tasting a brand new beverage. Another tonight. another beer. Another beer. It's, a, it's, it's nice. It's got a little bit of a fruity taste to it. It's a blonde ale. It's from Mission Brewery. And it's 5% alcohol, which is always good. Yes. And Mission Breweries in San Diego, California. So this is good. And we actually, we smartened up because now we got two six packs of it. Yeah, we got two. Because, <laughs> Just, you know, in yeah. case we really like it. Yeah, it, it, and it's good. It's good. And we appreciate it. And uh, hopefully down the road a ways, they, they come up with a few more beers that we like. You know, and then we'll try those two as well. Well, so. I'm sure we'll we'll get to everything eventually. And eventually. next month, October. Oh man, we're doing Halloween inspired. Are you ready for that? I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. I'm I, ready now. I know AC. AC's ready for the decorations. She's ready to do all the crazy stuff. I'm Halloween. ready to change all the backgrounds on my phone and my scary ringtones and yep. put the decorations up and do all the fall and Halloween inspired things. I get into it. I'm crazy, but I, I get into it, and yeah. that, that's I love it. So next 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 month, we're going to do some crazy stuff for Halloween. Mm-hmm. We'll probably have a Halloween show because it's on Saturday. It is. So we'll <laughs> probably throw a Halloween show together. So, but we're very happy tonight in the studio. We have Mr. Snacks. That's Snacks coming up. McGee. Snacks will be McGee. here. Well, He's we, here. Well, you were asking, do you like Mr. Snacks or Snacks? We'll ask him when he. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah we'll yeah. ask him. He's got his top five snacks that he likes. Yes. And he's always on the road. He's always doing. He's something. always sampling some, always something out something. there. Yeah, shrimp with cheese, or I don't know what it is. But so oh we're gosh. looking forward to talking to him. We have a movie yes. review, of course. We have a movie review, and this movie is a little bit more scarier than the other one. Well, th- this was actually a surprisingly very good movie, and I enjoyed it. So I will have a favorable review on this one. But before we get into everything, before yes. we get into snacks, yes. I just want to say that we are now playing on iHeartRadio. So we finally cool. we finally got yeah. on there, which yeah. is awesome. And we are on Player FM for those that use that. But also we want to give a shout out. Shout out. A shout a out. Big shout out. Big shout. Well first of all to everybody who is yes. who is listening. We got our fifty downloads and on the thirtieth there will be a month that we've been doing this podcast. This is our fifth one. We thank everybody who has listened, who has shared it. We appreciate you guys. Share it some more. Let's get some more people listening. Right, right. Um, but also on Apple Podcasts, we got a, a five star rating. The five. So we're not tooting our horn or anything. We're just very grateful for it. We're very happy that somebody gives us a five star rating. Exactly. Yeah. But we all, he also wrote a review, Kevin John seventy two. Shout out to you, dude. Kevin John 72. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So he, he gave us a very glowing review. I'm glad he enjoys the show. I'm glad he appreciates that we're not talking any politics. Yeah. And we're not going to ever talk politics. No, we're never. We're not, never. Never going to talk politics. It's ever. out there. We know it's out there. Yeah. If you want to watch it somewhere else, go ahead. But yeah. we're not going to do that. Exactly. Yeah. And he also likes our beer. Yeah. <laughs> he said he's going to try some of the beer. So hopefully... Kevin John 72, you've been able to find some of the beers that we have been drinking. And he just popped open another one. And actually, you know that the two six packs that I just spoke of are almost gone. Yeah. So it's good beer. (laughs) It it, it is a good beer. It tastes a little sweet at first, and it says a a malty sweetness. So I'm assuming that's the malt that we were tasting. But it's it's pretty good, just like everything else. Every other beer we've tried so far has been pretty damn good. Well, you do appreciate all the listeners. Thank you very much. And, you know, we're going to do something different every show if we can. Uh, we're throwing together a bunch of different things and we'll see what we can do. But mm-hmm. tonight, we we have Mr. Snacks McGee. Yes, but before we get to snacks, before we get to snacks, all right. I just want to say shout out again to all the listeners that we have out there. there we have Oregon, we have Michigan, California, Virginia. Texas, Alaska, Mexico, France, Brazil. Thank you, everybody who randomly dropped on us on our website. Yeah, just I, I just happened <laughs> to come across thing. you guys. Yes, we appreciate you so much to the ones that have been here from the first podcast. Of course, it's only number five, yeah. but you know, thank you so much. It does it does mean a lot that you guys enjoy what we're doing because we just started this just to do something, and we we figured why not us? We can do it. Right. 
and you guys are enjoying what we're doing, and we appreciate that so a lot. We're, we're going to talk a little music here. I think, you know, with the canceling of this, with the COVID, COVID thing going on, they canceled the Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Poison, Joan Jett, and the Blackhearts tour. It was a stadium tour. So that's been canceled, but they're going to redo that next year. So next year, is going it, it'll be on again. And I think everybody wants to go see that. You know, Motley was, we're done. We're not touring anymore after 2015. We're done. And they blew that contract up. And now they're going to do this. So if you get a chance to see them, I think you should see them. It's like all the bands, you know, me and my brother talk about. You know, you get a chance to see them, you better see them. You know, like yeah, when you ZZ get the Top, mm -hmm. Leonard Skinner, uh, Robin Trower, Kiss. Yeah, Kiss. I know my son one time was asking me, Dad, take me to see Kiss. And I said, all right, when you're done seeing the Jonas Brothers, I'll take you to see Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> And kiss, good luck. How much were the tickets? Were they like, like two hundred for like no, yeah, yeah for yeah, nosebleed? Like, no, we're not gonna do it. So. I, I I like kiss, but come on, guys. Yeah, come on. Well, my friend told me he said I don't want to see seventy year old guys <laughs> jumping around leotards. Yeah, yeah, a lot of their um, a lot of the followers are already in social security, right? I mean, you gotta <laughs> yeah. make a discounted price on yeah. that ticket. Cut them a break. <laughs> Cut them a break. <laughs> oh. So we're going to come back here in a couple of minutes. Uh, we're going to talk to Mr. Snacks. Mr. Snacks. We, we have a movie review. And you yes. said this was good. This was a good one. And you had an opportunity to actually sit with Mr. Snacks earlier and watch this movie review. I did. And as I have said previously in the past shows, it's more entertaining to watch him <laughs> Because he is really, I can imagine, if he if he's in the movie theater watching a scary movie, not that he would, no. but if he did... He loves clowns. He is one of those people that's that's screaming at the screen, no, oh, don't go in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, something's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. Why are you walking in there? Oh, oh, get ready. Oh, yep, yep. my goodness. Here oh, we go. Shoot. So that's pretty much what I got today. And yeah. like I say, it was entertaining. So it was pretty entertaining. We'll, we'll do we'll do a little of that. Mr. Snacks is here. He has his top five snacks. And, and he, he made two snacks for us. He did. So we have two here to sample. Yeah, so we'll try a couple snacks, and uh, it should be pretty good. I think the show tonight is going to be uh, uh, something that's it's probably going to get Memorable. Back. Yeah, get memorable. <laughs> get Mr. Snacks back in the studio with us. And eventually, eventually, we're going to get Mountain. the Sportsman's Corner. We're going to get gonna, Mountain. We're, we're, yep. We're going to get Mountain, Sportsman's Corner. I'm, I'm still working that contract out. Get him in here. So, All right, Snacks in the studio with us. Snacks, uh, he's been, uh, we've been talking about this for a week or so to get him in here. We got him in. Snacks McGee. Well, I do have one question before we start. Okay. It, Mr. McGee, can I call you Snacks or should we just stick with Mr. McGee? You know, I think you can call me Snacks. You announce I'm Snacks, so... Mr. McGee is a little formal. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Snacks. <laughs> snacks. Snacks. Do you have your, your top five snacks for us? Well, let's do a little history on snacks. snacks oh, I'm sorry. Snacks. I just jumped ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. That's all right. Snacks is on the road. He's always on the road doing something. He's always in a plane or a train or something. And he's always got these ideas of how he's going to throw a snack out there. So we invited him to come in the studio and tell us his top five snacks, what he would do. So go ahead, Snacks. All right, so um, like you said, I'm always traveling, and easy snacks is the best way to go. Uh, right now, some of my favorite snacks, like I was just on a plane a couple months ago. Um, I got some bagel bites. Bagel bites? Bagel bites. You yeah. know, it's bagel and pizza mixed together. Two great things. That's and so <laughs> it's like bagel. I mean, it's pizza topping. You yeah. can't go wrong with bagels and pizza. No, no. Heck. So that's a great option. Um, I got that in the airport. Those are really good. Um, another snack. Uh, my niece, she loves these and she's three, but I love them too. And they're goldfish cheddar jacked crackers. What, what makes them jacked? I'm just curious. Yeah. Jack cheese. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. They're not like jacked up yeah. on steroids or anything. No, they're not goldfish no. on steroids. No, no, they're the same size. It's just they use. <laughs> <laughs> they're the same size. The same. <laughs> oh, that's, okay, perfect. Yeah, snacks. Let me ask you something, snacks. I know you got your top five that you like, and you know, basically, when you're on the road, those are the top five. But. You brought a couple things tonight, and what did you bring tonight? 
Well, they're on my top five list as well. I brought bell peppers, which I know Big Dog's not a big fan of. No. But I'm sure this will change his mind. Yeah. They have cream cheese, everything bagel seasoning, which is viral right now. Everybody's trying it. Oh. And some sriracha. Oh. Everything bagel is it right yeah, now. That's it. Everything's <laughs> we bagel. We just heard it from Snacks. Snacks. Well, he snacks said it know. is the shit. Snacks would know. It's if anybody the, the, would know. It's the fucking shit right now. That's right. Go ahead. And uh, top of some sriracha, which I know Big doesn't like, but AC will. So it's all good here. Yeah. AC loves spicy. Yeah, she does. Fuck yeah. That's right. Wait a minute. Hey, so now, does, now, does now, that, now. Okay, does that count? That does count. My count. It counts because we do a, a, a swear jar and we've been doing this from day one. Now we got to do it for snacks because he's, he's cussing now. Jeez. Snack. All right, well, that's, that's we're just yeah, going to double. At, the end, of the, at double. the end of the show, we'll just drop a bunch of money, and then we're going to donate it to a good charity. So that's cool. So we'll do something like that. Yep. So what's the other one? Come on. And then, well, uh, my fourth snack was, uh, it's actually a dessert, and it's Tillamook Mudslide Ice Cream. My Nana just got me onto that, and it's really good. Very good. So I'm a big fan of that one. And then my fifth fifth uh, snack snack is uh, cheesy pizza rounds with garlic butter cheese sauce. Damn. And he made those and they smell really good, you guys. Yep. Are we going to try one right now? Are we going to try one? Give Let's it a try. shot? I think we should try the bell pepper first just to get that over with for Big Dog. I don't think then... we should. I already tried one of those earlier. I'm not going to try another one. They were good. You can try one. Nah. And we're going to post pictures of these on our social and you'll see the one that doesn't have any sriracha is Big Dog because <laughs> he doesn't like <laughs> spicy. So I'll circle that so yep. you can see. Well, Snacks thought about me when he was making them. So yep. that, we appreciate that. So, right. so snacks. Where are you going from here after after you do the show tonight? Where are you going? Are you gonna go? Are you going to the bar? Or something, are you going to or? bar, Texas, something? Where are you going? You like to go to Texas? Nah, we a, love you, Mesquite, Texas. Yeah, we do. Yeah, what's the other one? What's the other Texas town we like? Magnolia. Magnolia. Get a shout out to Magnolia. Uh, actually, I'm going to Texas. My cousin lives there, and I've always I've been there, to Texas, probably the past eight years. Yeah, it's a really nice state. You like it? <laughs> I'm sure our Texas listeners will will appreciate that so much. Yeah, I have a lot of family there, so I, I go there quite frequently. But my cousin's moving, and I'm going to go with him and help him move back home. And uh, we're going to go on a little road trip, uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and a couple other places. And we're going to try out some places to eat as much as we can during this. So when you come back to visit us, you'll have a lot of new snacks then per yeah, state. Different ones, to right? To tell us. Different, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. for sure, for sure. Uh, speaking of trying new snacks, I got this idea from when I made a trip to Oregon, and that's the cheesy pizza rounds, and I figured we should give them a try right now. All right, we'll give it a try. They look good. They do. They're connected. They're Hold on a second. They're sweaty balls. <laughs> They're sweaty, some sweaty balls. <laughs> These are the summertime sweaty balls. They're sweaty. Your sweaty balls are nice. <laughs> they are good though. I hate mm. to be chewing right in the microphone, but I love that. They're, they're tasty. Yeah. So what's in these? Mmm. I taste cheese. Mm. It's got some dough on it. Mm. Mozzarella, shredded cheddar, uh, stuffed inside pizza dough, topped with garlic, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, Parmesan. There's plenty of cheese in these. <laughs> It's always nice to hear people with their mouthful talking on the radio. Yep. <laughs> We're not on the radio. Oh, that's right. So it doesn't matter. No. <laughs> the Big Dog AC Show, Mr. Snacks in the studio. And a lot of cheese. And a lot of cheese. But tasty. So when we're done eating all this stuff, we're going to come back with a killer movie review. Okay, well, I did just try the bell pepper that has sriracha on it. And speaking of the, the spicy hot sauce, I saw on Alice Cooper's Facebook page that he has a new line of hot sauces, which sounds pretty crazy. Well, yeah, but he's named, <laughs> he named them all after his songs, right? yeah, yeah, so then there's Welcome to My Nightmare. Awesome song. That's the mild one. No more Mr. Nice Guy. That's the medium. And Poison, which is my favorite. You like the Poison sound. I like the Poison. Yep. It, that's the Hot Reaper hot sauce. And those sound amazing. At first, when I saw the Facebook post, I thought, this is like this is a joke. This is not for real. But he's really got it. So I think we're going to have to try that. We're going to have to order some. Put on the, the, the bell pepper 
cream cheese snacks that Mr. Snacks here brought us. Yeah. And I think that'd be pretty cool. I think it's been pretty awesome. We've had Mr. Snacks in the studio, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, he'll he'll. I think we're gonna do Mr. Snacks like once a month. Yeah, we'll try to get him as often as we yeah, can. And yeah. and it's always nice when people bring food. Yes. And so we're we're glad that he brought us some stuff to taste. Yes. So that's pretty cool. So we got a movie review coming up, but before we get to that, oh. we want to talk a little bit about. Uh, a few other things where you can find the podcast where you can hook up with us how you can get to us okay well we are on apple podcasts spotify google podcasts amazon music stitcher iheart radio we're still waiting for pandora that should be hopefully pretty soon tune in podcast addict pod chaser deezer listen notes player fm and of course we're on youtube big dog ac show please subscribe to that Twitter will be coming up soon. Yep. Like us on Facebook. It's the Big Dog AC Show. Follow us on Instagram, Big Dog AC Show, and email us for sure. We have a couple listener questions that we will be addressing here shortly, and it's Big Dog AC Show at gmail.com. So basically, any place you get your podcasts, search for the Big Dog, Big Dog, all one word, and AC Show. The and is not spelled out. It's that little ampersand. Yeah. I feel like I should be specific in case people are looking for it. And then those followers that we have now, please share us. Yes. Like our page. Yes. Do everything. We will be transitioning to a new website soon. And and when we get that done, we'll let you know. And we appreciate everyone who does, you know, review what they do on the show. It's just constructive criticism for us and what we want to do. We love the feedback. Yep. We appreciate the good words. No politics. No none politics. Of it, none of it. None of it. So, we're going to jump into the movie review. Okay, here Let's we go. Let's do it right now. What is the movie? It is called Polaroid, and I thought it was fitting because we have... I... We... You don't watch them. I have seen two movies already that include a Polaroid camera. So, when I saw this one on Netflix, I thought, okay, Polaroid, let's do it. And then, uh, real quick... Uh, she made me watch this movie when I, you know, came, and it was real fitting because I have a Polaroid camera. So when I'm on my travels, this is going to be a memory to keep. Watching, <laughs> watching both of you watching that movie was priceless. Oh, I'm I'm fine. Uh, I was watching him and laughing hysterically. Yep. Okay, so for the IMDb page, this is it's called Polaroid. It's only PG-13. It's um, from 2019. It says, high school loner Bird Fitcher has no idea what dark secrets are tied to the Polaroid camera she finds. It doesn't take long to discover that those who have their picture taken with it soon die. And Bird Fitcher? Yes, that's, that's her that, name. Yeah. Wow. That's her name. It, you know, that's a normal name. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, oh. I will start off right now saying that this movie was actually pretty good. It was the best I've seen out of the, the uh, what, this is the fifth show, so I've watched four prior to this. The best one so far. It's really good. Um, so the first five, what I like about it is that within the first five minutes, people die. <laughs> you got no waiting. It's like, boom, there you go. Someone died already. I, it's really hard to take you serious. You got a Vince Neil bandana on, and you're just... <laughs> And she's not talking about Mr. Snacks. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, not no. Mr. Snacks. I'm talking about Big Dog. So anyway, so the movie, like I say, it right immediately stuff happens, which I appreciate instead of dragging on like that other movie where I had to wait a whole fucking hour before anybody says any shit. So this finally, okay, immediately it happened. So the first couple minutes, though, you think that's the whole, that's like the main characters, but it's not. It's like a completely unrelated these people have nothing to do with the main characters so it's just kind of like a prelude to what's going on so then bird gets the polaroid camera her friend gives it to her he buys it at a yard sale it's a polaroid camera that's from 1973 i think something like it's like a pop-up polaroid camera and she's a photographer so she gets it she starts taking she took his picture and so then basically the premise people who get their picture taken by this camera end up dying and in the polaroid with that the the picture after it develops you can see a shadow in there and so that shadow is basically the evil spirit what i like about it is that 
people die. The kids actually start believing. I say kids, they're teenagers, whatever, high school students. They actually start believing after they see proof, but it, it's within the 30, first 30 minutes. So that's very refreshing that things will, that people believe you right away. The only ones that aren't believing, of course, are the sheriff, the the police department, because they, oh, no, you don't, you don't know what you're What's the name of the you're movie? You're just dumb kids. What's the name of the movie? Polaroid. Polaroid. Polaroid, like the picture? Yeah. So... So then those people actually believe. So then they spend the rest of the movie trying to figure out how to keep it all from happening, keep them from dying. And so, of course, the ending is somewhat predictable. You kind of figure that out from the very beginning. Aside from that, it was actually very entertaining. I did enjoy it. In the, at, at, in the beginning, you kind of think who the ghost slash creature is and then they throw a little twist in there so it makes you wonder am i right am i not right i'm not sure how many how many beers are you giving it you always cut me off when i'm trying to do like an in-depth movie report <laughs> come on movie review this is very important to all the listeners okay that's yeah, all right. it is and, uh, like i say i did enjoy this so i'm giving it a four out of five beers which is so far the highest review because i did enjoy it and if you've seen Final Destination, I'm going to say this is pretty close to the same premise. Um, the only difference is Final Destination is rated R and they actually show the people dying and the gore. This is PG-13. You do not see the actual deaths of people except for one person towards the end. So then you do see his death. Um, but otherwise, you don't really fully see it, which is the, the PG-13 rating. But like I say, I did enjoy it. Other than that, I did enjoy it. It's four out of five beers for me. Good movie, though. It, it was. I, yeah. I did appreciate it. I did I did enjoy it. Scary? Uh, not really to me. but Not really to me, but there were a lot of jump scares. So, you know, things popping out of the shadows. Of course, everything's freaking fucking. Um, I almost said freaking instead of fucking. What the hell? Uh, Put the fucking, money in the yeah, the, you you see all these houses that are fucking pitch black. It's like, come on, people, turn on the lights. I don't <laughs> get it. If you're home alone, you got a three-story fucking house. Yeah. Turn the fucking lights on. I mean, one of the girls that dies or gets killed, she's got this humongous house, and of course, it, there's. There's a party, because there's always a party in, like, a teen movie and stuff. So, there's a party. Her parents aren't home. It's a three-story house. Right. And at, at, when she, right before she dies, there's no lights on. Like, for real? You got no well, lights yeah, on? It's a, it's a movie. I know. But re if you want it to be realistic, come on, man. Put a fucking light on. And then they go in the basement, and there's only that one little light bulb hanging down oh, with a little yeah. There's a lot of with, movies with like the that. pull yeah. with the pull tab to to yeah. turn the light on. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? So that that's that's in most scary movies, horror movies. I'm gonna say, but other than all those little cheese ball things, because of course they were still thrown in there. For the most part, I did enjoy it. Hence the the four out of five beers. Okay. I have a listener question right in front of me. So what you want me? To <laughs> no, you have them over there. Okay, so they're not right in front they're of not you. Right in front of me. They're in front of me. They're in front of you. The listener question is from an anonymous listener, and the question is, what animal would you be and why? And it's not specific as far as like real animal or fantasy animal. So I know I think, what my think, answer. I think would be. I'd have to be a Rottweiler. You'd be a Rottweiler. I'd be a Rottweiler. Because you, you like to bark a lot. I think I'm because I used to have one of them. They're pretty loyal and pretty good dogs. So you're a loyal person. Yeah, I'd be a, lo I'd be a Rottweiler. Okay. Well, like I say, it doesn't say specifically uh, a real animal or a fake an fantasy animal. So I'm going to say I'd be a dragon. A dragon? A dra yep. Welcome to the studio. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say... I would be a dragon because you get to fly, you get to breathe fire, and you can eat people. Really? And so, yeah. So I think that that would be kind of cool. So that that's wow. what, that's what I would. So be. I'd be a Rottweiler, and, and you'd be a dragon. I'd be a dragon. <laughs> so. And by the way, we didn't mention it, but Mr. Snack or Snacks, sorry, not Mr. Snacks. You can call me Mister. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Snacks was drinking a margarita. Yes. That we, 
We didn't talk about. We had our beer, and he had his his he strawberry mar- margarita. Yeah, strawberry margarita. I think he had enough of them too. He's good. He's I good. think he's getting pretty good. Yeah, and it was rum actually, oh. not tequila. So yeah, it tasted a lot better to me, and it just hit me a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before he falls on the floor, yeah. I think we want to thank everybody again for yeah. listening. Thanks, Once everybody. again, we're on iHeartRadio now. Yep. And so we are on Apple Podcasts. We're on Spotify, Google Podcasts. Just search for The Big Dog and AC Show. And like us on Facebook, Big Dog AC Show. Follow us on Instagram, Big Dog AC Show. And email us, please, Big Dog AC Show at gmail.com. We like your listener questions. Yes. And we will answer them on the podcast. And a new website is pending, so we will let you know when that is up and running. Oh, it's Mr. Snacks. Snacks. Snacks has one more thing to yeah, say. Also, uh, like I said earlier, I'm going on a little road trip with my cousin soon. So if you have any suggestions of places to try, I'm going to be in Texas, uh, Arizona, New Mexico. Uh, I'll be specific. I'm going to be in Flagstaff, Arizona, Las Cruces, New Mexico, maybe through Las Vegas, somewhere. You know, if you have any suggestions, so let me know and I'll try it with my cousin. There you go. There you go. He just like uh, bogarted that I whole situation with. <laughs> so, no so if you have, if you have any things for Mr. Snacks too, then that's cool too. That's <laughs> Otherwise, right. thank you for listening. And yeah. and we we make pretty much a month of podcasts so far. So that's pretty awesome. Thirty days. Thirty days. Yep. So thank you very much, and we'll do another one next weekend and every weekend. And thanks for listening. <laughs>